Hey guys, three days ago I posted a video telling you that Supercent and Razor are no longer together and I posted the video where Supercent confirmed it, although she never stated the reason why they broke up but today she explained everything. Let's have a look at it. Listen, I I don't want y'all to mis I don't want y'all to mistake my my silence for me. Why well, I ain't gonna say silent because I, I, I ain't really silent, but especially on Snapchat, but I don't want y'all to mistake for what's going on in my life as if I'm, I'm um, I am distraught. I am I am going through something. I'm I'm going through something because I'm I'm suffering a, a breakup. I'm not not only am I suffering a breakup, my kids are suffering a breakup. So it's not just about it's not just about me. I spent almost three years with somebody, and my kids did too. So. I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, you know, she's 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 going through it, and um, and she, I'm going through something because I'm I'm dealing with a a breakup that I was not expecting. So let's just get that over with. Um, I got too much love and respect for Ray to get on here and 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 drag for him and make him feel like he just is fucked up, whatever. But I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defend the nigga neither. I'm not gonna defend the nigga. I'm not gonna like lie about no nigga. I'm not gonna the truth is the truth. And it is what it is. Like I'm not gonna be on some, oh um, I'm taking him back. I'm still single. I'm not engaged. We're not gonna act like, you know what, what happened between us is not something for for me to pack my bags and, and move on uh, until somebody really takes some some type of ownership or deal with some type of consequences. The night when I was on when I was on Snapchat, we was planning the game night. And listen, I'm I'm real big on everybody know I'm super public about about my relationship. I'm super public about what's good, what's bad. I don't really too much hide everything. How people try to make it seem like, oh, um, you um you try to make everything look like it's glistening. No, I don't. That's not me. That's that's y'all face. That's not me. I don't get on here and make it seem like we don't deal with real relationship problems because we do. We we normal, we regular people, and that's fine. And also, I'm I'm a woman that's that's gonna fight a nigga. So we're not gonna make it seem like or oh, a nigga just laid me down and, and, and rolled me out and I'm scared. I'm 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 never scared of a nigga. I'm not. And ain't no nigga gonna put his hands on me without me putting my hands on him. So that's just what it is. Race statement, appreciate it. Do, but realistically, you did call physical harm to me. I caused phys I, I call physical harm to you. When we was in a car, I had my little glasses on. I had my little glasses on, my little um, my little metal glasses that he bought me for um for Christmas. But I've been in the bed all day. My little metal glasses that he bought me for Christmas, and I I put my music on because we arguing, and I'm trying to get to a space where I'm not trying to be aggressive, uh, the the aggressor all the time. I'm I'm known for you know fighting my boyfriend. Uh, I'm known for hitting somebody first. I'm known for doing fucking up shit. I'm trying to I'm I, I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to be. A better partner. I know even though like women don't want to be hit and men don't want to be hit neither. So I'm trying to work on that. And I've been working on that lately. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing a little bit better with not swinging on a nigga, not bopping a nigga. I've been, I've been real good with that. I, I, I think me personally, I've, I've been real without seeking therapy. I need to seek therapy, but on my own, I've been working real good on not punching my nigga first. I've been doing good. So kudos to me. So when he, when I had my glasses on and he tried to snatch my glasses off my face and me not looking, I felt like you hit me. And me feeling like you hit me, I snuck him back. Don't don't snap. All that snatching stuff from me and all that, that's you being aggressive with me. We said we weren't doing that anymore. We said we was not doing anything. We not moving off emotions. We not we not being aggressive with one another. Like we didn't came to that to that to that point in our relationship to where we're not gonna put our hands on each other. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that. So when you snatch something from me and I felt like you hit me, I'm not I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. We in the car. I'm looking at the road and you take my glasses off my face so I felt like you hit me. I snuck him, knock his vanilla out, cause don't put your hands on me. Now you trying to restrain me. We on some restraining shit. And you pull over on the side of the road on the arm ramp. Cause you restraining me. I get out cause I don't want you restraining me. When I get out the car, we on the we we on the side of the interstate. When I get out the car, don't don't, don't bring me back to the car. Let me let me calm down. I, I'm removing myself so so I can calm down. You can calm down. We both upset right now. It could get worse. Whatever. As I'm walking away from the car, you drag me back to the car. 
why why is you dragging me back back to the car? Now I'm not restraining. I'm not I'm not struggling with you. I'm not I, I, I'm not fighting you. But now you dragging me back to the car. I'm not mad that you dragged me. I'm mad because you had no regard for people that could see us. You had no regard for the people that's watching. You had no regard if anybody could have pulled over, did something, somebody could have got involved. We in same time in the parish, the, bitch, the, the fucking police could have seen you. Anything could have happened. I ain't break up with Ray because we had a little scuffle. This is what we do. I broke up with you because you had no regard for us being in public and you dragged me to a call. I ain't know the reason why I put out the video and said, I'm going to put this T out because I ain't know who seen us on the side of the road. It was too many people passing us on the side of the road. Anybody could have seen us. Anybody could have took a video. They got people pulling over. Anybody could have seen it. That's why I put it out. And not to mention, I forgot when I was on, it's plenty of times I told, I told when I'm on live, I told y'all when me and Ray get into it and every time we be on some breakup shit, Ray, Ray don't feel like it's a real breakup until it's posted. Ray used to ask me, oh, post it because it's not real if you don't post it. Ray wanted a public breakup. That's what he wanted. That's why I made the post. I don't, I, don't, I, I wanted to deal with my breakup privately. I feel like when we break up, you know, we could go out, we can go our separate ways and when it come out and come out, but no, but like last time I, I, I posted before I was single because he asked me to. And when I did, he started crying and I took it down. Like we're not going to act like, and I told my live this, I told live, I'm like, when we break up, you be want me to post it and you want me to tell everybody because you feel like it's not, it's not authentic until, until, until we really like, until it's posted. I don't, I don't want, I did that already. I don't want to do that no more. That's why I posted so you could feel free. Not just that, when we on our way home, I'm thinking you would have been, you know, a little, a little apologetic, a little, you know, remorseful. The whole time, the, the, the whole time we're in the car, you, you mad at me as if I done you something. So now I'm like, okay, bet I can't wait till I get home. When I get home, bitch is over for you. That's how I felt in that moment. When Ray coming back to my post of me, I didn't, I didn't say, oh, Ray fucked up and he this. No, no, I said, let me put this tea out. I'm I'm no longer engaged. I'm I'm single with this and all that. We're not gonna be friends because we're not. Whatever. And then you double back with the calling me a bullet. Did I play on words? Yes. I should have dodged him licks. Was Ray punching on me? No. I did play on words. So maybe I I I I, I over exaggerate a little bit. But did you drag me? Did we fight? Yes. Yes. I mean let's let's be real, we did. We did. You was aggressive with me. I got aggressive back. But this is what we do. And but we said we wasn't doing that anymore. That's why I was pissed off. We said we was not doing this. We we made a vow to we are too grown. We got too much going on for us to be moving off emotions and for us to get physical because we upset. I know that all too well. That's me. A nigga make me mad. I'm bopping him. I'm I don't want to be that person no more. I don't because I have to deal with repercussions if I keep hitting on the man. I know what I got to deal with, me putting my hands on a nigga. I got to deal with whatever come behind it. I don't want to deal with that. I'm not stronger than a man. I don't give a fuck about a whole saying I'm bigger, I'm taller. Bitch, I'm not stronger than a fucking man. Ain't no way you going to sit around and say, oh, ain't no way she let that little... Ray is stronger than me. Any man is stronger than me, bitch. I'm not no man. I don't give a fuck how tall I am, how big I am. I am not no man. You ain't no man. You can't physically be no man. You just can't. I don't know why motherfuckers act like, oh, he he, he couldn't have. He no. It would have made more sense to say, I I ain't know I I ain't know we cool. I ain't gonna let no nigga put their hands on me. I ain't gonna, especially without me fighting back. So that's why I I ended my relationship. Not on some, I'm I'm battered and I'm 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 in this ab uh, abusive ass. No, because I felt like you ain't give a fuck in that moment, and we said we wasn't doing it no more. You didn't. I got a whole lot of love and respect for Ray. A whole lot. I don't feel like Ray's a fucked up person. I don't feel like he's an abusive person. But I do feel like he need help. I do. I do feel like he need help. Fuck, we both need help. But he need help. He need to see somebody. He got to work on his temper. If I make you mad, nothing, nothing I should say, nothing I should do should make you mad enough to reach for me in no type of way. It ain't nothing wrong with that. We we all probably need some help, but he gotta get help. I'm I'm fucked up because of my relationship ended. That's why I'm fucked up. I'm not fucked up because I was abused. 
I'm fucked up because everything I put into everything I poured into this relationship is is has ended. So I just wanted to put that out there. Because I am a public and I'm not again, I'm not I ain't asking for no privacy. It is what it is. I see a lot of people making fun of and you know, saying some whatever. It is what it, I, I know what come with this. That's why I ain't wanna do this. That's why I ain't wanna do the the public breakup. That's why I said I'd rather deal with my breakup privately. So we just, you know, we all need some counseling. We all need some therapy. I definitely appreciate his um his post of apologizing because he knew he was wrong for that. He knew he was wrong. Bitch, I ain't no bullet. Don't play with me. Bitch, don't play with me. And he ain't no bullet. I, I, I would never got on there and say, oh, yeah, I dodged a bullet because that would be a lie. That would be a lie. That would be a lie. Because I don't look at you as a bullet. I don't. But um, I appreciate everybody that reached out to me um during that time because it was an, it, it was and still is an emotional time for me. I appreciate y'all. It means um a lot to me. I wish Ray the best. Hopefully um I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna flex like like it's fuck Ray and 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 Ray could die and Ray could whatever. I I'm I'm sh I'm deeply in love with Ray. That was my fiance. Like I, last week I was playing the wedding. So I'm just saying if we, if he able to seek help and I, and I ain't saying say it, I'm talking about on some real, like I got to go, I got to, I, I got to move on while you deal with your, with your trauma and your, and I got to work on myself too, but we, we can't do that together. We got to do that separate. And whatever happened with that, I don't know. We may revisit, we may not. Love y'all. Bye.